Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Uh, today we're making um, mint chutney and this is a recipe um, of my uh, aunt B. Everybody loves her um, chutney in my family and normally she just uh, makes it for all of us but today I've taken the recipe from her and I'm going to try it myself. So here's all the ingredients we need. So I have here some coriander. Now this has been taken from a um, pack like this. Okay, so nice and fresh. And then I have twice as much mint. Uh, so originally it would look like this on the stalk and I have just uh, taken off all the leaves and I have washed both of these things thoroughly in uh, cold water. So there's a lot of grit because this is all fresh. So that also sunk to the bottom and then I washed these uh, several times so they are nice and clean and I've got the stalks here so these are going to go in the bin um, and I've taken the stalks off the chilies as well. Okay so this is ready uh, to be processed. So, so the first thing we need to do is chop these up. Okay, because I only have a small uh, chopper. If you have a big heavy duty one, uh, that's better for big families. But I don't do this very often. And when I do, it's always in small amounts. And I like to use my um, products uh, fresh, so I don't tend to freeze. You can make a, a, a whole batch and then freeze it in containers like this. And then when you need it, um, you just uh, take one out and mix it with yogurt. Okay, so I'm just going to chop these. Okay, so this is all chopped up now, so I'm going to put this in the um, chopper. Like I said, I only have a small one. This works better with those big heavy duty ones, but hey. So everything's gone in. And you just place the lid. While you can check, mm, that smells absolutely lovely. I do love the smell of mint. Mm. Okay, here we are. Now, you can leave it as it is, or if you want, you can chop it a, a little bit more and make it fine. Uh, like I said, I like to um, see and feel my food, so I'm going to leave this as it is. Uh, I think if somebody else was doing it, they'd probably have it finer, but it's entirely up to you. And then uh, you can uh, either mix this in uh, white vinegar and ser serve as it is, or you can do what we normally do, uh, our Kashmiri families, and we mix this in yogurt like this. I'm only going to make a small amount just to show you. <clears throat> so I put in a heap teaspoon of this mixture and then I'm going to add some yogurt. Mix. Okay, so depending on how strong you like it, you can leave it as it is or you can add more yogurt. Uh, you can taste it if you think it needs more salt, you can add more salt to it. It's entirely up to you. And we would serve this with um, with pakoras, with kebabs. Uh, you can just have it by itself as a dip with carrot sticks and cucumber sticks or celery. Um, it's really up to you um, how, how you have it. Okay. Okay, and as you can see, there's still lots left over. So this you can either freeze or you can um, share with your friends or, you know, just... Yeah, share it. That's what I'm going to do. So if you're freezing, you can just put it in a small container like this and put it in the freezer. And then uh, when you want to use it, just take this out and mix it with uh, yogurt and, you know, in the, in the way that I've shown you. Okay. 
So here we have it. Bee's infamous mint chutney sauce. Here we go. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye. Masalama.